Good evening, linear algebra students. Uh, so uh, this is like pretty much the last problem of section 4.6, rank and row space. And I have a huge suggestion for you is to do that exercise yourself. Okay, so you should look at the YouTube video, uh, like at the very least at the end to see if everything is filled in correctly. So uh, you uh, like actually fill it and then go at the end, see if you got the right answer. And if you don't, then you can look at which places you got wrong answers and you can actually go back to the place in the YouTube video where I discuss about it. It's a big table, okay? So that's gonna be challenging. I'm gonna actually get a collar, uh, an extra collar to fill this table, just to make sure that there you are. Because I'm gonna need as many tools as I can. So, um, the first thing we should fill in here is the rank A column. And I think I'm going to use mainly four colors to, uh, to fill that thing. So, I'm going to use the blue, let's say, for rank, uh, or um, I'm going to actually use red for both the first columns, okay? Uh, so, the rank of A is the number of pivots because each columns happen, each pivot happen in a different column. So this is easy to fill. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. And then again, we kind of skip this. So actually here, the same thing should be written down. We have like two, one, zero. And then over here, we have two, one, zero. Okay. Now, if we look at what kind of geometric object uh, we have. So for a tree by tree matrix, it is actually pretty straightforward. So if the dimension of rank A is tree, it means that call A is actually our tree. Okay? Two pivots means it's a plane. Okay? And then one pivot is uh, a line, of course. And no pivot is just like the origin. So I'll just say origin there. Okay. So, so far so good. It gets slightly more complicated when A is a two by three. Because what you have to remember is that the span, uh, the span of the columns, uh, like call A is actually the span of the columns of A. So let's actually write this. Call A is the span of columns uh, of A. And it is a subspace of Rm, okay? M being the uh, number of rows. Okay? So whenever you fill these things, you have to actually look here. Okay? You have to look at the two that's here. So, in other words, if you have two pivots, and that's the maximum you can get, you're going to get here R2, okay? So it's not going to be a plane in R3, it's going to be R2, actually. And here you're going to get a line, and here you're going to get, obviously, the origin. Okay? Then if A is 3 by 2, okay? then it means that call A is a subspace of R3, which means that here you don't have R2. What you have is a plane, a plane in R3. Then one pivot means that you have a line in R3, okay? And finally, no pivot, again, is the origin. So keep in mind. Whenever I say plane, I mean that, uh, a, like, it's not the complete thing. It's a plane in R3, where, whereas if I say R2, I mean the entire R2, uh, the entire set of vectors of two components. Okay, let's now talk about uh, null A, okay? Now, this is pretty straightforward. First of all, um, for the dimension of null A, we're going to use the rank theorem, so I'm, I'm going to erase this now, and or, or should I put it at the bottom? Yeah, I will actually erase this. 
So we have to look at um, the, the rank theorem is that uh, number of columns is equal to uh, rank A plus dimension null A. Okay, so what it means, again, we will uh, solve for the dimension of null A, which is equal to um, the number of columns, which is N, so let's call this N, minus the rank of A. So I made a small mistake here. I should put like rank of A plus dimension of null space. So, all right. In, what it means is that in this column, we're going to subtract the number of columns, which is, which is actually the three that we have over here. Okay, so three and two. Uh, minus the number of pivots. So the dimension of the null space is going to be zero. Then here, three minus two, one. Three minus one, two. Three minus zero, three. And we're doing this everywhere, right? So three minus two, one. Three minus one, two. Three minus zero, three. Okay. And over here, we have uh, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 1, 1, and 2 minus 0, 2. Okay, now let's have a look at what is null A, okay? And here we have to be careful because uh, null A is a subspace of Rn, okay? So let's actually write this down here. So null A is a subspace of Rn where this n here is the number of columns. So my color code is working well, right? Because this is what I underlined. So what does it mean? It means that here we have the origin. Okay, so this is null a. It's just like the, the set with the zero vector. Here it's going to be a line. Here it's going to be a plane in our tree. And here it's going to be our tree itself, okay? So this is not the difficult part. The difficult part is here where the number of rows is not the same as the number of columns. So we have to take into account that we are inside our tree, right? We, we have a subspace here of our tree, which means that um, having one pivot means that we have a line, okay? Having two pivots means that we have a plane in our tree. And finally, uh, three, uh, tr what am I, what am I saying? Yes, okay, three pivots, no, not three pivots. The dimension of the null A being three means that uh, this will be the entire R3. This will be the null space of A. Now, remember that uh, that's it. This corresponds to the columns. Whereas here, as you can see, uh, it goes the, uh, like, it's, a, it's the number of columns again, but it is now a subspace of R2. So it means that having zero, uh, having zero dimension is going to be the origin. Having a dimension of one, it's good. That's what I should have said since the very beginning. Having the dimension of one will make it a line. But having a dimension of two, be careful, means that it's going to be R2 itself, right? It's not going to be a plane in R3 because the vectors in null A, in this case, have two components, right? Subspace of, um, subspace of this. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, the row space. So again, we're filling this column. And... Um, Okay, so here, um, okay, so they're badly ordered, unfortunately. So I should make like rank of 80 here. And uh, that's what I want. There you go. So I'm going to put row A, row A here and uh, rank of 80 here. Okay, just to be consistent with all of the columns. So here we go. Uh, all right, here it's just a copy-paste of all of this, okay? So this is not complicated. Just because, remember that the rank of 80 
is uh, the dimension of the column space of AT, and it's going to be the number of pivots. So, uh, in other words, it's going to be like 3, 2, 1, 0. And also keep in mind that these are the same numbers, right? Because rank of AT is equal to rank of A. And so we're going to get 2, 1, 0, then 2, 1, 0. Okay. Now, uh, row of A, you have to look, um, so row of A, these are vectors uh, of how many components? Uh, it's the number of columns again, right? So let's put it this way, vectors in row of A, in row, uh, row A, have N components, okay? N being the number of columns, okay? So again, whenever we write our answers here, we have to keep in mind that we, have, we are a subspace of our tree here. So here it's not going to be difficult, but it's going to be difficult here and here. So let's underline the columns, okay? Now from here, uh, it's okay, so here it's very simple. It's going to be R tree because this is a subspace of R tree. This is going to be a plane. This is going to be a line. And this is going to be the origin. Okay, this is the tricky part, right? We have, um, that's it. This is a subspace of uh, R2. So two pivots means that it's going to be R2 itself. One pivot, it means that it's going to be a line. Okay. And finally, uh, no pivot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I totally messed up here. I totally messed up. So vectors in row A have N components. Um, this is the number of columns of A. Of A, okay? Uh, which then, this is the number of rows of a transpose. Okay, so I underlined the wrong thing. Okay, so here, this is, uh, so erase this. Okay, and this is going to change our answer. Okay, so you see, that's why it's difficult. Okay, so it's totally going to change like these things. These are not going to change, fortunately, because we have the same rows as columns. But let's actually switch um, what we wrote here. All right, so we are inside our tree, which means that this is going to be a plane, this is going to be a line, and this is going to be the origin, okay? Whereas here, we're going to be in R2, okay? So which means here it's going to be R2 itself, okay? Here we're going to be inside of a line, and here no pivot means it's the origin. Okay, Whew. you see, I made a mistake here. So be careful, make sure that this column is correct before we continue. And uh, now, finally, we're talking about the null of a transpose, okay? So the first thing to do, let's use orange at this point. We're gonna write that, um, so uh, the rank, of a transpose plus the dimension of null a transpose is equal m, which is uh, the number of rows of a. So numbers of rows of a. So what it means is, uh, and, and don't forget, this is the number of columns of a transpose, okay? So what does it mean? It means that we have uh, dimension null A transpose. Null A transpose is equal to M minus, uh, minus rank of A transpose. Okay, so be careful at what you read here. This should be separate. So now from here, we can fill this. 
Okay, so we have here, um, okay, so dimension of null A transpose, there we go. So we have to look here at the columns of A transpose, so let's underline them. And we're going to have 3 minus 3, 0, 3 minus 2, 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 3 minus 0, 3. Uh, whoops, wrong column. Okay, because here I want to write the geometrical object. Okay, then we do the same thing here. 2 minus 2, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. 2 minus 0, 2. Then 3 minus 2, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. And 3 minus 0, 3. Last part, the geometrical object. Okay, so uh, let's erase this. And let's just describe what kind of object we have. Okay. So how many components do vectors in null A transpose have? Okay. So first of all, uh, A transpose uh, has M columns. Okay. And what it means is that uh, null A transpose is a subspace of Rm, okay? And this is the number of rows of A, which is actually equal the number of columns of A transpose. So what I underlined in, in orange is actually the correct number to look at. Okay, and you have to be very careful. You need this column just to make sure that you're not looking at the wrong numbers. So here, uh, so what we have is we have the origin. Here we will have uh, a line. Okay, so actually this case is very simple because uh, we have the same number of rows as columns. We are in our tree. So this will be a plane and this will be our tree itself. Okay. Where it gets a little bit tricky, remember, is here, okay? So over here, uh, this we are in a subspace of R2. So in this case, uh, it's going to be the origin. Then it's going to be a line. And here, it's going to be R2 itself, right? Because we have two, we have like a dimension of two, but since we are in a subspace of R2, it's R2 itself. Now here... We have, uh, we are in the subspace of our three. So one means that we have a line in our tree. Two means that we have a plane in our tree, right? And here we have our three itself. So perfect. The table is complete. Make sure that you understand uh, a subspace of what we are in, right? So it all goes with what I underlined in the corresponding colors. Okay, so remember that null A is a subspace of, uh, actually, both null A and row A are going to be a subspace of the columns. So if I, if I may, let's actually underline uh, this in green as well, right? Just to, so that you can make the comparison. It doesn't mean that they are the same space. Actually, they're orthogonal uh, subspaces. Uh, but, they are, but, but they have the same dimension. Uh, so actually, let's underline here in green as well, just for your own understanding. And, and then, uh, as you can see, null AT is a subspace of the number of rows of A. So what we underlined in red, we can also underline in orange. So here, I forgot to underline in red, but let's do it. And this is it. I know it was long. I hope it was helpful, though. See you in the next video.